She thought it was just a headache. A little dizziness. Maybe stress. Maybe allergies. But inside her brain, a microscopic predator was already digging in. This wasn't a virus, not a bacteria. Not even a parasite you'd catch in the wild. This was Balamuthia mandrillaris, the slow brain eater that lurks in soil, dust, and even garden water. And once it gets inside you, you don't feel it. You don't see it. You just start to fade. She was a healthy woman in her thirties. No medical issues, no travel, nothing unusual. But one afternoon, her left arm felt weak. Then the right side of her face went numb. Doctors checked for stroke. Nothing. CT scan? Normal. Blood tests? Perfect. But something impossible was happening. Her brain was swelling. And nobody knew why. Over the next few days, she grew confused, tired, and disconnected. She forgot words. She forgot conversations. Sometimes, she forgot where she was. Her family begged doctors to check everything. Viruses, bacterial meningitis, autoimmune disorders, MS, all negative. Then a neurologist looked closer and noticed the one thing everyone missed. Microscopic ring-shaped lesions forming throughout her brain. That pattern meant only one thing, a free-living amoeba. But not the one you've heard of. Not the brain-eating amoeba from warm lakes. This one was worse, slower, sneakier, deadlier. Balamuthia doesn't attack fast. It moves cell by cell, destroying brain tissue over weeks or months, giving victims just enough time to feel themselves slipping away. Doctors sent samples to the CDC, and when the results came back, the room went silent. Positive for Balamuthia mandrillaris. Treatment. There is no guaranteed cure. Only an aggressive cocktail of drugs with dangerous side effects, and even that only works sometimes. Her family agreed. It was her only chance. For weeks she fought. Her brain swelling slowly decreased. Her speech returned. She recognized her family again. And then one morning she woke up fully alert, smiling, talking like herself. Doctors called it a miracle survival against one of the rarest killers on earth. But here's the part most people never hear. You can get Balamuthia from gardening, from dust, from soil entering a small cut. Even from inhaling tiny particles you never see. It's real. It's rare, and it is one of the most mysterious infections in the world. If a simple backyard cut can lead to a brain-eating infection, what else is out there waiting to be discovered? Subscribe now, because every week we uncover the infections, parasites, and mysteries the world tries to forget.